If it wasn't for France, Russia, and Britain, you could sail in a straight line from Austria to Greece. Not gonna lie, this legit took me a couple minutes to figure out. This is a history joke because France, Russia, and Britain destroyed the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. But if they didn't, we would have had this thick boy right here in Europe. The United States after the Louisiana refund. Forgot that was still on the table. We we have the receipt, right? Someone in Washington probably has the receipt. And how much did they sell it to us for? It was about 15 million. I'm pretty sure today France would be willing to give us 15 million back for all that land. Map of Europe out of emojis. This horrifies me. I've got a big problem with this. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, it is actually incredible that you can even do this. I don't know what Luxembourg is, is doing inside of Germany, but that's cool. Black Sea looking like a weird Tetris shape. And look, they even include the islands like Cyprus and Malta. All right, not gonna lie, this is actually pretty impressive. The United States, if it was colonized by Europe. Wow. Wow. Fascinating. So many weird changes. Could you imagine if the US was colonized by Europe? What a crazy world. Map of Europe. I don't know why I said that like I was gonna continue with that phrase. This is just a map of Europe and this is all I need. Actually, again, I know these are basically posts, but they're really like talented. They drew Europe through our counties. This is impressive stuff. World map, except it's fair and uncontroversial. Ah uh, yes, the checkered patterns of the same two countries around the entire world. Oh, and those two countries happen to be Kurdistan and the Holy Roman Empire. Random, no data. As always, here in Greenland, what the hell even happens here? This is actually the first time I haven't seen the no data joke in Korea. That's new. Most common language other than Yiddish or Spanish in the US. Hmm, very educational. You know, I, I bet you there's something interesting somewhere in those smaller states, it's just hard to tell with the, the font size. USA drawn in three lines. Hmm. Is there now a land bridge that has formed around the Hawaiian Islands? That would make things a lot easier to get to. One Zamibia solution. Uh, wait, okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to say about this one. I'm just gonna move on. Top 12 states to live in, indicated by yellow. All the states in the northernmost territory are yellow. Wow. I'm actually like wondering a legit question now though. Like is, is Hawaii like technically lower than all the states on a globe perspective? It's close, but not Really? I think we should get an update to this very educational map, the top two leftmost states. How many people don't realize it, but Chile is actually so long that it could entirely cover the distance between Earth and the Sun. This is one of those facts that like I want to mention all the time, but I, I just feel like I'm, I'm preached in the choir. You guys have probably heard this from so many other channels. Didn't real life lore do a video about this? Map of the US, but every state is Nevada. Thank you. I really needed to see this. I don't know why. I, I don't think I could have ended my life before seeing this. Now I'm good though. I don't think I think I need to, there's no point in me existing. I like all the tiny Nevadas here in Hawaii. Europe, but with the wrong font size. I mean, technically this is the most important thing anyways. Most people can't just look at the shape of a country and, and figure it out. Most of the normies. Sorry, but we're gonna have to start making maps like this. They need to have words across the map to make sure they know the country they're looking at. World's largest island, Afro-Eurasia. World's smallest island is a silicone di dioxide molecule surrounded by water molecules. Oh yeah, that's the key. That's right, because we're talking about islands. I have always wondered, like, what is the definition of an island? Like, why aren't all the continents islands? Like, that's the biggest question. Is Australia an island or a continent? According to Britannica, an island is a mass of land that is both entirely surrounded by water and also smaller than a continent. This is actually revolutionary to me. So basically, anything that we don't define as like the seven continents is an island. These are some dumb rules. Chile achieves world domination by taking over all coasts. It seems like Chile really is like the fan favorite of map communities, but there are so many other ones I feel like that don't get enough attention. Countries in North America that invented Lego. No. Yes. That's an interesting one. That goes deep. Because did Greenland create Lego? Or did Greenland get owned by a, a Lego nation? The size of the Atlantic Ocean. I wouldn't know this because I live in California. I've never seen the Atlantic Ocean. What is it like seeing this orange barrier like that? Does that ever get in the way of things? Map of countries in Africa I visited. Red is I've Benin and blue is I plan to go to plan to go to it's old but classic joke it checks out you could walk in a straight line from France to Egypt if the map is severely distorted hey I mean who knows I do think I prefer this world a lot more just on the basic fact that Italy is now a spaghetti. Symmetrical Germany. That actually looks really beautiful. Does anyone else think like we should probably do this just just for the symmetry? Don't humans find like symmetry attractive? This is a sexy Germany. That's all I'm saying. Frick it. Straight Japan. Just like a huge barrier that keeps a lot of these countries from going out towards the east. Again, like one of the aliens gonna do this for us. My prediction for the US election, but it's 1117 AD. <laughs>
Joe Mamas versus Trump, Caesar, and Kanye Osid dis something. Trumpus would win a lot of the low countries and like Germany, Switzerland, random parts of Africa and Turkey. Biden us uh, wins most of like Western Europe and Italy. There we go, Mesopotamia. Let's go. Mesopotamia is big fan of Kanye. Kanye is. Support for replacing the Electoral College. But this is not a regular poll. This is actually just a map of the U.S. Canadian border. My head can't handle this right now. Wyoming, but it's a blue state. Honestly, if you think about it, we give Oklahoma some kind of strange borders too. And Idaho has got something. We could do this. Let's unironically do this. Denmark is a bigger country than the African continent. See, we have in green, Denmark, and in red, Africa. This is going to be a really weird video if you don't know anything about geography. Is it just me, or does the Democratic Republic of the Congo look a lot like... <gasps> What? Oh my god, how many more examples of this are there? Doesn't the United States of America look a whole lot like the USA? What? Google Trends back at it again with some gold, circumcision, in blue, versus Madagascar 3, Europe's most wanted. Big fans, Colorado is. Pretty sure that's where they made all their profit. France, if France was perfectly hexagonal hexagonal was a hexagon. I wonder what Germany would look like as a hexagon. Electoral map of the US if for just election day every state combined into one mega state. Technically we did do this so Biden won this state but what about all the other states? We only have one state out of the electoral Am I even making sense right now? Map of Ecuador if they conquered the entire equator. Did you know that Ecuador was on the equator? Don't know if you knew that. Surprising I know. Flat maps are always weird when you look at the equator because you know the map is not flat, but this doesn't look too crazy. You can walk in a straight line from France to Egypt if you curve the line a little. Just a little bit though, not much. Look at that. Make a stop by Mongolia. Listen to some throat singers. Bam. Then you got the baguette not too long later. More people live inside the red circle than outside. Error of margin? Somewhere around 7 billion. You know, you always have to count for the errors. I give this guy a lot of respect for at least putting it in. A lot of the maps you look at, they don't put that in. Top six countries in the world. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Oh, I, I was gonna say, okay, it is factual. It is all on top, but where is that margin of error here? Nice people versus not nice people. Gotta say, that is pretty nice. The entirety of continental South Africa lies south of Michigan. Wow. Again, you, you know, it just makes me so upset that like map projections really just skew your idea of what actually is going on on the globe. Oh, again, just crossing over. I just love how the Drudenau subreddit is slowly beginning to colonize all the subreddits that I go on. Massachusetts, if it was massive, or in other words, its true form, massive juices and you know what look at that even in the true form we still have a florida basically i don't know we'll just put them over there they're not gonna know the difference if the soviet union and the u.s ended up booming each other we have a map of what the world would look like um apparently there's not a whole lot going on it's just radioactive nuclear tundra you know we look at a lot of fantasy or like alt history maps gotta say this is probably the most realistic of them all cuba Oh! Now wait a second, I always assumed that Netherlands was like the Minecraft world, that's the one that endorsed most, cause the nether. But maybe we need to rethink this with this new development. Virgin Globe versus Chad Mer- <laughs> Basically useless, true, globes suck, small Greenland, that is bad, it doesn't show the whole planet, never thought about that. How do we even know that the world looks the same when you turn it? I mean, technically speaking, what if there's some sort of optical illusion, like the US is completely different looking until we flip the sh- Oh, uh, see, it's almost like it had to be generated, like there was a glitch in the matrix. Because I didn't see anything when I spun it that fast. This one is great for navigation, has a big Greenland, shows everything while preserving shape. It's about time. You know what? Screw the globes. There, I said it. More people live in the red than in the blue. Always gotta put that no data because who knows about this other stuff. Biggest mystery out there. The United States of the United States of America. We have states built out of states. All 50 states making up the 50 states of America. Again, this is actually impressive. I get it that this is a shit post, but this is actually like a miracle. I would love to know how many US it took to build the US. Because I'm counting at least like 10 or 12. Look how accurate Hawaii is and Alaska. Someone attempted to draw the US within counties of Europe or provinces, states within Europe. This one is just bad. It, nice attempt. I don't know how you could do it. The key is they did include Alaska and Hawaii. That's, that's good. How could such a small country defeat both Napoleon and Hilter? For centuries, literally no one could invade 
this land. I'm so confused. I mean, even the US struggled to defeat the Soviet Union. But when the Soviet Union was around, don't forget, it was like a little bit tiny bigger. Like they had these islands or something. Actual size of Greenland compared to Europe. Again, you know, it's hard to like understand fully how Greenland actually looks because of the weird projections, but this is accurate. Greenland also speaks a lot of Portuguese. Against popular belief, Turkey does look like a turkey. Also, Turkey's real name is Ankara. There, that is the uh, obvious thing. I mean, we have other countries labeled here. Turkey's just called Ankara. We made up Turkey. That's not the actual country's name. Map of Europe if it were colonized by Portugal or Chile or we've, yeah, where have I seen this before? Who brings Christmas presents in different British regions? In this part of England, they have Father Christmas here in, is this Kent? Of course, Amazon. That's where most people, I think, have their Christmas gifts come from. Professor Xmas takes him a little bit while. He has to get started much earlier because he's in the chair. These people celebrate Christmas. They just have no one to give them their gifts, so they get nothing. And then when it comes to this area, it's just insane how much Viking influence there still is today. That whole thing was like a thousand years ago, but obviously they've left their impact. In green, we have the Count counties this poster has lived in. Uh, by the way, this poster is not American. <laughs> wow. Can we get an update to this map every year though? Long USA with, um, what even is this? Wow, this person did go through the entire trouble of building different states, crafting them, and you know what? It works well. Look at, look at the detail on this, because this person actually kept the squared borders as you move to the west, but when you go back east, it's curvy again. Now that is attention to detail. We need to get this man's stat on redrawing some borders around the world. The name's not bad either. I can pronounce like one of them, Estona being of course the only one of them. I made a map of what the US would look like if every state was Wyoming. United States of Wyoming, it would be a perfect rectangle. Now, wait a second. You disgust me. Wouldn't the United States of Wyoming be a perfect square or at least almost? This is very clearly a rectangle. Would have enjoyed it more if it was like a square almost except off by like a couple miles. Britain, come on now. Y'all messed up. Britain and France could have dodged a whole lot of conflict if we just did this. Believe it or not, population in the blue area and the red area are the exact same. <gasps> Crazy that three million aliens live on both. Oh yes, one of these again, except we have the Arabian Peninsula as Mexico, is part of Indonesia as the Caribbean islands. Oh man, there's a lot of really cursed areas. What even is this? I like the attempt to make a South America out of India. That's a new one I've never seen before. And a lot of African countries too. World, if it was made out of Serbias. Now, if we were gonna just like distort a Serbia, then yeah, you could do that, but you can't do that to New Zealand. Just leave it off. No one knows New Zealand exists anyways. I'm just gonna show this just to really excite my brothers and former Yugoslavian lands. I think they would like this, right? Well, there's Albania too, but you know. Really glad to see my propaganda working. I want Czechoslovenia. Don't care about Czechoslovakia anymore. No, 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 what would actually be the population? Hold on, 10.65 million compared to basically 2 million. So it'd be about 12 to 13 million. That's a sizable, powerful country. Europe doesn't want you to know about this because I think they'd be taken over. Here's a map of Africa according to an Onion video. Little known country was assumed to be in need of US charity. South Africa, that checks out. Congo, yeah, this stuff's fine. Let's not forget question mark country. Legality of monogamy. Man, talk about depressed. <laughs> you could rearrange the continents into the shape of Luigi. Oh, Waluigi. Well, you could probably do Luigi too. Wow, wait, where does it stop? How has this not actually been a thing? I'm surprised we're not making all sorts of weird, um, no-no animes with the shapes of countries. I would pay good money for that. Map of Europe, I drew from memory. Really, I swear guys, it's perfect. You don't know how many times I, I see this. I promise I didn't trace it. It's just, it's just identical. Furbia! Oh my God, I now just realized the summer vacation that Phineas and Ferb were talking about was actually just 1991 collapse of Yugoslavia. That makes the whole series so much more entertaining. I'm gonna go rewatch it right now. This one is actually just educational. Map of countries with data versus no data. It's always the same places, who would have thought? I don't feel like Greenland doesn't have as much data. I feel like a lot of people just give whatever Denmark's data was to Greenland. I see that a lot usually. Incomplete map of the European Union be like, so since the EU is clearly letting in places that aren't from Europe, uh, when, when can I apply? Like, where's the application for that? If it wasn't for 299 million years, you could walk from China to Chile. Stupid continental plates. Map of Cyprus, but it's my burn wounds from a hot glue gun. <laughs> That's actually very accurate and horrifying. I guess there was no difference between this and like getting tattoos though. Map of the world, but New Zealand and Japan are switched. Ah uh, yes, we have a New Zealand in Japan and Japan doesn't exist. Of course, as all things should be. Wait, what the hell? Kim Kardashian made this Instagram story? This is a world map. We all live 
here, a map of the world we all live here. Is there a possibility that Kim K watches weird map shit on YouTube? Map of countries with Eiffel Towers. Um, red, yes. Blue, there's no data. Oh, white is no, of course, very important to remember that. Hey, this is very accurate. They even have the other territory that France controls. That's usually left out. Same for the US. Are they talking about our Eiffel Tower in Vegas? Is that why we're included on this? Mideast, but according to my 20-year-old Spanish textbook, Venezuela. <laughs> So wholesome, honestly. I've never seen a more wholesome map. This is actually kind of crazy. I did not realize how massive Madagascar really is. Lining it up with India like this really does show. Hold up, I'm not even joking around anymore. This is crazy. Exaggerated relief map of Italy. Every time, like, we get another one of these maps from, I'm assuming, NASA, it just gets more and more beautiful. Map of Europe, but I won the Nobel Peace Prize by removing the Balkans. Oof. We've been playing with fire today, that's for sure. No France. The world has progressed past the need for France. This post was clearly brought to us by British gang. <laughs> Map of Europe. But Poland is very small. Polish islands. That'd be a lot of fun. I bet you'd be visited by pretty much all surrounding countries. What is the difference between Holland and the Netherlands? Because I still don't see it. Like, I know that this post apparently was good for a lot of people and helping them understand, but I just don't get it. Bigger countries than the Vatican City in red versus, of course, the no data. We got to skip over that. But, but, did this include the other micro states? Oh, I think it did, right? Because the Vatican City is technically the smallest. Oof. Yeah, I tried to look smart and that just made me look even dumber. Wait, is this actually a tweet? Is this real? I don't remember seeing this. I would have lost my mind. Are we even able to look this up anymore? You can squeeze the Vatican City into the Black Sea. Crazy, right? How about this? You can squeeze every single human being onto all seven continents. Mind blowing, right? And big thanks to the February patrons. Thick Boy 3000. Stormtrooper 501. Roll C Tree. Aryan After Hours. Pobsnitz. Polovsky. Patrick C. Manny Manny 74. Mac. Luxembourg Lover. Fusion Wolf. Full Send Nick. Epi Nick, Elijah Senpai, Dalton D, Annie Kitty, and Ballin' Like Stalin. If you'd also like your name here, check the Patreon link down below.